Okay, so we're going to try to do a reading for uh, oxidative stress first, then antioxidant levels using the FRAS-5 system. And first we have to select the correct test, so I'm going to go to DROMS for oxidative stress levels. And then hit the right arrow. And it says take the blood sample with the micro cuvette. So we're just going to take a blood sample now using a simple finger stick method. However, before doing this, it's not a bad idea to get all of your parts together. So out of the envelopes, you'll find a big envelope for the DROMS test. That's where the big cuvette comes from. There's a smaller envelope for a micro cuvette. And in your package, you have a whole bunch of a different type of micro cuvette, and that's what's used for taking the blood sample. And you'll notice here there's a, a little uh, extra tag on the cap. You take that off, then you pull the little micro cuvette out. This is where you're going to take your blood sample. So you do your finger stick and collect the blood into the capillary end of the micro cuvette. Before you put the cap on it, when you're done collecting the blood sample, you want to cap it first and then put the cap closed before you uh, centrifugate the uh, sample. So I'm going to stop here and we're going to take our blood sample. Okay, so now I'm closing the cap, opening the centrifuge, mm -hmm. and notice the balancing tube is the same as what you have here but it's on the opposite side from the tube that we're going to use. Make sure that this goes in the secondary tube and then into the centrifuge. Now it's balanced and I'm going to follow the next arrow and it says open the centrifuge door, verify the presence of the balancing microvet, place the microvet in the opposite slot and close the door. Do you want a centrifuge? And I'm going to hit the check mark and it's going to start to centrifuge for about a minute and a half. Okay, so the centrifuge is spinning down now and we get a message saying that it performed okay. So now we can open the, the door, take out our blood sample, not the balancing tube, but the blood sample, and you can see now it's spun down so you have plasma separated. So now I'm going to do the next step check the kit that it's calibrated properly. So we're doing the DROMS FAST 50. Factor is 9, so let's check it. Yes, it is in fact 9, and it remembered it from the last time we did the test. So that's correct. Now we're going to say go ahead. And sooner or later it might believe me. So now I'm going to get 10 microliters of the R3 reagent by the micropipette. So let's watch doing that. This is a 10 microliter suction device. We put on our little pipette. Here is the R3 reagent. We're just going to suck up 10 microliters of that. You can see that I've got a little bit of the fluid in the base of my pipette. And now that goes into this little container. And we agitate for 10 seconds. And now I'm going to get 10 microliters of plasma using a different micro pipette. There's 10 microliters of plasma, and that goes in here as well. That gets agitated for 10 seconds, and then we're going to put it in our cuvette to go into the colorimeter. These are not easy to open, and a little ring will fall off here, a little security ring will come off. Now we can pour this in. Hit the cover on, and then it goes into the reading device. 
Notice the knurled section matches the wavy section here, so the clear side gets the reading. And it has now forgotten which test we were doing. And now the cuvette gets placed in the reading cell. And the machine is going to count down for a minute doing the reading. So the machine counts down for about a minute, takes a first reading in the colorimetry cell, then starts counting down again for another minute and a half. What you didn't see is a couple steps where I had to go back and reactivate the machine and tell it which test I was doing and set it all up again as if I was doing the test, except this time I hit X so we didn't recentrifuge anything and it finally let me get a reading. So now the machine is about finished counting down. It'll do one final reading and this time we'll get a printout on our DROMS test. Now this time we're going to do the antioxidant test, the PAT test. So I've gotten out all of the stuff that I need. The PAT test has its own separate uh, reading cuvettes with its own correction factor. Notice here it says K factor is 7 and we're going to need some uh, uh, micro pipettes, a different reagent, and we've already got our blood sample. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the PAT test on. There's the PAT test. It says take the blood sample with the micro cuvette. So you could do this uh, process separately, but we've already done that. So we have our blood sample. I'm going to say X, so I do not centrifuge this time. And now we're going to check and verify that we are set for the correct correction factor. That's 7. That is correct. And it says verify and correct as needed. Now open the cuvette and draw 40 microliters of the R2 reagent. So that's a different pipette. In this case, it's our green one. And I'm going to use a little micro pipette and get 40 microliters out of the reagent. There's 40 microliters. Close this carefully because it's easy to knock over and dump. Now here's the different uh, cuvette for reading. Notice it's a different color. This is white. The first one was green. And now I'm going to put that 40 microliters of reagent into the liquid that's already in there and then you invert close the container and it counts down 10 seconds while you mix it okay so now the cuvette is put into the reading cell again with the rib sides pointing to the zigzags and it's going to do the initial calibration reading now I can remove the cuvette and open the cuvette. And this time we're going to take 10 microliters of our plasma sample from our centrifugated blood. This time I'm using the white pipette, 10 microliters. I'm getting 10 microliters out, no red cells. That goes into this container now, and we invert again for 10 seconds. And now place it in with the rib sides going sideways, and we're taking a reading, and that's going to read for a minute. And now the countdown is finished, and we've got a PAT reading of 2448 corrected units, and then we get a printout saying the same thing.